Hey Maggie, how the heck are you? Let's take a look at your Labor Day submission. So you named both files correctly. I appreciate you following directions. Um, but you neglected to put your caption down here and I sent you a note, but I guess I don't, you must not have seen it. Um, but in the future, uh, today, if you see this in time, when you submit your assignment, it goes in the comment section uh, when you're uploading your image. Um, and you still need to add a photo to Canvas here. Um, I need to see what you look like, just a photo of your face. If you need help doing that, let me know. Looking in Photoshop, looks like you sized it correctly. 96 uh, it's a little off so it should be 96 at 10 um, and let's see if you put your caption in the correct place okay um, with this caption you know obviously we, we need their names 97% um, of the time um, and you also need the day and date. But it is in the correct spot. Let's, <laughs> Maggie, all right, that's the wrong image. Um, let me find it. So, three, that's not it. Apologize. Oh, that's right. Here's the other one. I would have, well, I don't know. I, first, I was going to say I would have cropped it down to get rid of that one. Yeah, I think I, I would do that. Just this one dark pot right above his head. I don't, I see that it is cropping in over here on the left, but I don't think it hurts anything. Um, but let's check the, all right, this one's done correctly. So I think, I do think you know what's going on here in Photoshop and I bet this is right. It is uh, father and daughter, blah, blah, blah. So we need their names again. Um, this is advanced photojournalism and um, in journalism, we have to have people's names for the photos to be able to run. So. Um, need names uh, and then the day and date alright let's look at your take uh, I use photo mechanic I introduced it in class I believe but it is just a great way of going through photos quickly and picking out the best ones and then looking just at the best ones and picking out the very best ones and it really helps in the edit editing prop uh, process especially you, you did a good job you shot 297 photos um, so uh, that's a good number that's what I would expect for someone really trying um, and you know it, it take a while to go through all those photos so this helps it also shows me and you what camera you're using what your ISO was what your lens was set at um, your aperture, shutter speed, what uh, your white balance, uh, focusing mode. So if I see a photo and something's not right about it, I can look at this info and usually tell how to fix it. Um, but with that said, here we go. Go kind of fast. I don't know how in control you were of whatever vessel you were in, but I would have gone over here and tried to make some, even though there's no human element or person, but tried to make, make something more of this because I just don't think we'll be seeing this uh, too much longer. It might be a thing of the past, and so that th those are interesting images.
like the water fountains in the 19, you know, 50s, the, you know, four whites and four blacks. And I think if someone went around, uh, which a few people did, and just took photos of those, you know, those are really interesting now. All right, enough about that. Ooh. I like this. Just, uh, that's uh, maybe. I'm going to tag it. So, uh, yeah, follow the light. This is the good light. Shooting the other direction isn't. Uh, this is, you know, kind of with the sun at your back a little bit. Um, looks like where Swamp Thing lives. Uh, it's pretty good, though. I wish they were wearing different colored shirts, but we always, you know, make unrealistic wishes. Uh, just too far away on most of these. Yes, you can crop in, but uh, don't rely on that. Just try to get closer. If you had these guys' names, this would have, you know, this would have definitely worked, but not having their names hurt you. Um, I like how you're framing photos. It appears to be that you are noticing the light. Uh-oh, there he is. Um... Your exposures seem someone just get run over by a boat. Um, your exposures seem correct. I don't know. That was my dryer. Um, I don't know what m mode you're on. I don't. I can't tell. It looks like possibly manual. That's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this guy if he's doing like jumps off of his uh, dock and stuff that would have been cool to go over there and hang out for a few minutes looks like someone's swimming over to him so that's you just have to I mean it looks like you're finding the moment now you just need to get over to them not worrying about uh, freaking people out Yeah. All right. Well, I just like this. Shutter speed, 3 20th of a second. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe a little bit faster on the shutter speed. Your ISO, I never go below 200. So I would keep it at 200, and that would allow you to have a fa faster shutter speed. He's sharp there. But the other kid's not sharp. So this is uh, one of the few Hold artifacts on. that has ever been to the moon that is now at the USGA's museum. No one cares, fella. I apologize for him as well. He had the dryer, the TV. Um, yeah, this is somewhere I would have definitely gone for this assignment. Um, but are we already out? <laughs> are we not very inspired in there? Okay. Uh, there... <laughs> Uh, uh, there's definitely photos to be had in this place. Yeah, maybe you have to pay a few dollars to go into the butterfly garden, but, you know, here's a kid here. You could follow around and be interesting. And and then uh, just having, like, a little, you know, waiting for the right person to walk in and look, you know, up at this thing and make some kind of photo of that. Um, they have all those different themed rooms you can, you know, make something out of, but it's usually you find the photo and you have to just like hang out and wait for, you know, someone to, to pass by and then approach them, you know, to get their name. But, um, yeah, glad you went there, but I think a little bit more time next time. 28, looks like you were there about five minutes. 
<laughs> um, where is this place? It's colorful. Uh, this is deep though. Maybe you could have made something here. I don't know. It's kind of boring. Um, I say boring. I don't know. It's, it's a nice composition, actually. It needs to be straightened. No, maybe not. Or maybe a tiny bit uh, clockwise, but looks like maybe you could have found something a little bit better. Let's keep looking. There's people with the dog, but it looks like they were leaving. See, uh, maybe just like, a, oh, these are the people you approach because it started raining. I recognize his head, but, uh, I would have seen this situation and walked up and said, hey, um, blah, 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 blah. And you mind if I hang out and take a few photos? And, and they would have been weird at first, but then, you know, I would have just gone right over here and popped up and sat, sat and, you know, just started making photos and it, they would have opened up after they saw that, you know, I really cared about what I was doing and trying to portray them and, Anyway, that's what I would have tried. And it's because they had the two kids and the, you know, that kind of says Labor Day to me more so than, you know, this could be any day of the week for, you know, college students. Does not look like a very fun ride. Uh-oh, here comes the rain. Ah, just one hit wonder. All right, good. And you did crop this out, so that's good to see. But yeah, just watch feet and toes and stuff in the future. Uh, are you going to do it? Uh, this kind of photo is a horizontal, you know, showing all the rain, just it's kind of sad with her, her bike and sitting on the stool and I don't know. I don't know if it would have been interesting or not. It doesn't appear, he doesn't, he's cool with it. Wow, it's boring. All right, I think that's everything. I think there's only one that I wanted to look at. I have a couple in here. All right, so this one, you're shooting into the sun, which isn't great. Uh, or it's early and the sun's just rising. But with that's just auto contrast is what I did there. It's kind of impressive. Auto levels, add some green. Auto color, add some blue. I don't like that. But that's kind of... Uh, we would probably straighten it to the lily pads, which it looks like it's straight. I don't like all that brightness up top. Let's, let's do this. We'll get our rule of thirds and get rid of all that brightness. Then we're going to come up a little bit on the water. We don't need all that water. It's too much water. And go right about here. I feel like I should go down just a tad. Bam. Oh, I don't like that little bit of... There. Um, so that's kind of cool. Just want to see something.
It's kind of cool in black and white too. All right, we'll do one more thing real quick. You're gonna get tired of this. Um, filter camera raw. And then we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep changing this up. Here we go. <laughs> I really like that. I think that's awesome. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, there was this guy. Let's see what we'll do with him. He definitely needs a crop. Uh, this might have worked. I like the color in this photo. Um, again, you don't need that much water. Um, but the problem is you don't know these people's names. Uh, but these are two uh, really nice photos. This one, and then I like the black and white one too, or the color version, either way. Um, all right, that's all the info I have for you. The info, that's all the... Uh, that those are all the comments I have for you. If you have um, any questions, please reach out to me and ask. Um, otherwise, I will see you in class on Monday. Thanks, Maggie.